So hello people, here we go, and this is Glenn, back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about animals. So, here I have a banknote, it has an animal on it. Now, you can see it's an ocean scene, so you know that this is in the ocean. And the animal is actually a whale shark. So a whale shark is, well, you might get confused. Is it a whale, or is it a shark? I'm not too, too familiar with it. Hmm. Maybe you've seen it, it's actually quite a large animal. Humans could probably fit in its mouth in the largest examples. And this is actually a shark. It looks like a whale, so it has a large body of a whale, but it has one, two, three, four, five fins there that are not on a whale. So a whale generally has these side fins, the top fins, the back fin, and the fins here. But on a whale, the fins are not up and down, they're actually side to side. So you need to rotate this fin from this direction to that direction. So that's how you can tell it is a shark because of the back fins. Instead of being up and down, they should be side to side. It's a whale. So here I have some examples of other animals. So we have a whale shark. You take, in general, not all the cases, but I have a few down the bottom, we'll have a look later. You take the shark, so the animal is a shark. And it is a whale because it has the characteristics of a whale. So you would see that the animal's a shark, but some people might confuse it as well. That's why they call it a whale shark. And then we have other animals that do actions. So we have a fishing cat. So a fishing cat is a cat that does fishing. And this cat usually uses its paws to uh, catch fish. So it puts all its paws in the water, gets the fish up, and it would catch fish that way. And it used both of its front paws at the same time. And that actually lives in the Southeast Asia, you know, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, some of you might come from there. So, the next animal is a, also a shark, a tiger shark. And it's called a tiger shark because the coloration of its skin is like a tiger's. So you see a tiger has stripes going down. A tiger shark is also like that. So the next one we have that we don't really use in Australia is a duckbill platypus. We generally just call it a platypus. It is a monotremine, so it is a mammal. It lays eggs, but it also has a pouch, like a marsupial, and it has milk. Also like a marsupial and a placental. So humans are placentals because the baby is inside the, the female to um, develop. So the duck build is because, if we have a look at the 20 cent coin, you can see, okay. Let's see. Uh, so, here you go. Here's the animal. There's the bill there. And the rest of the body goes in there. It has a webbed feet as well. But it's named because the bill looks like that of a duck. So, that is why it's called a duck bill platypus. And the next one we have is also an Australian. It's actually a spinifex hopping mouse. This has three names. So the last one describes what it is, it's a mouse. The first one describes its habitat, so it lives in spinifex grass. So this is a type of grass that's native to arid areas of Australia. And it actually hops, so it hops like a kangaroo, you know, boom, 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 boom. So it hops around in the spinifex, and that's a description of that animal. And on all species, it has another name at the front, to distinguish the species of hopping mouse, spinifex hopping mouse. And the next one we have a hammerhead shark. So that like the other two sharks is a shark, but this describes a part of its anatomy. So its head, we're talking about its head, and it looks like a hammer. So a hammer head. So its head looks like a hammer. So if you look at a hammer, you're looking at a hammerhead shark. Okay, another one also describes part of its anatomy, a sulfur-crested cockatoo, and these are pretty common in Australia. 
and a crest is you know, the part that sticks up on the top of the head, the feathers. And the colour is sulphur, and sulphur is a yellow colour. So sulphur, crested, and the animal is a cockatoo, which is a type of bird. And the last one we have is African fishing eagle. So similar to the African fishing eagle, but it describes its geography. So it's an eagle, it's an animal, it's a bird. It lives in Africa, sub-Saharan, so below the Sahara, and it actually fishes like the fishing cat or fish. And even though it doesn't say fish in there, when it says fishing, it specifically says it's going for fish. But when you're fishing, you can also fish for other animals as well. So, there are exceptions, and these are it. You people, my memory card run out. So, there are exceptions, and these are it. So we have the koala bear. In Australia, you could just call it a koala, okay? But overseas, they might put the end on it as a bear, because it has a resemblance of a bear. But you might be thinking, oh, this is a bear. And the koala must be some other name. But no, that is not the case. In this case, the first part is describing the animal, a koala. And the last name means it has a resemblance of a bear. So that's where it could be get confusing. Then we have three ever native animals, one's extinct. So we have the or two extinct, Tasmanian tiger is extinct. And it yeah, this name actually doesn't describe the animal at all. It just people think it looks like a tiger, but in generally it looks like a dog with our tiger stripes. And it lives in Tasmania. Okay? So it looks like a tiger, it lives in Tasmania. So we have a geography resemblance. So, in this name, the first part is the geography where it lives. The second part is its resemblance to another animal. And here's a scientific name, Phylocinus cyanocephalus. Oh, cyanocephalus, that's it. And the next one we have is uh, the Tassie Devil. And this is, it doesn't actually remember to resemble the devil. It has a, uh, a voice, a growl. So a growl. So a growl. That's a growl. So it lives in Tasmania, in which uh, 3,000 years ago, actually lived on mainland Australia as well. And he has a growl of a devil. So, Sarcocephalus, that is the actual scientific name. And the, another extinct one, this has been extinct for probably about 40,000 years, is the uh, marsupial line. And its scientific name is uh, Phylocolio carnifex. And it's re not related closely to these two, even though they're all marsupials. It's closely related to kangaroos, koalas, and wombats. And this has a description. It actually is a marsupial, but it also resembles a lion. Or they say it resembles a lion. I've seen the reconstructions. To me, it probably more like resemble a tiger. So, that's pretty confusing. Anyway, so for most of the animals, this is holds true, and for a few, this holds true. So if you're confused, you can ask a native English speaker, or you can, well, come here, put it, a message down below, and ask me a question. So anyway, I'd say thank you very much for watching this video. You have an awesome Timeline in English. Don't remember. Keep it up, people. Cheers.